Mother Nature, Mother Nature really flipped the switch on us. Oh, golly, it is going to be so different today. If you wake up early this morning, you're going to feel that chill. Two things you need today. The warm, warm jacket, even a puffy coat. I will throw that word out there. And your umbrella. You'll need that. Uh, depending on where you live, could be this morning, could be this afternoon, could be this evening. Let's take a look across Center City. We basically have cloudy skies out there, and it is a very chilly start to the day. Right now, 47 at the big airport, Philly International. Winds out of the north and northeast to 13 miles an hour. That's going to keep us chilly all day. We'll have that light breeze going on. Here's the temperature difference from 35 at Mount Pocono to 50 in Wildwood. We have 45 at Mount Holly, 45 in Westchester, uh, 47 in Wilmington. So the warmth is to the south of us, and that's where it's going to be the warmest all day. Perhaps the low to mid 50s there. The rest of the area, lucky to hit that 50 degree mark or just above it. This is how much cooler we are this time today than we were yesterday. Take a look at that. Allentown, you're 21 degrees cooler. Philadelphia, 15 degrees cooler. Millville, 12 degrees cooler. So quite a big chill. This will be the coolest day since last April. Certainly the coolest day of the season so far, but not yet. The coolest yet to come. So we do have the cloudy skies north of Delaware and down in Cape May. That's where we're seeing Cape May and down into central Delaware, just south of Dover, all the way down into Sussex County is where we're seeing these steady showers. So down toward Long Neck, uh, perhaps uh, Dewey Beach, we're going to be looking at some of these steadier showers moving through. Dover, you'll be looking at some showers perhaps in the next hour or so, uh, some sprinkles moving across the area. Toward Cape May, Atlantic City, some light showers, even Morris River, Vineland, you don't have any. Anything yet, but I would expect to see some of that moving in in the next two to three hours. I think it's just very slowly making its way northward. We have high pressure to the north, which is stopping the progression of this moving through so quickly. So we're going to continue to watch these showers all day long. Here is your future weather. Now you can see the winds coming in out of the north and northeast, so they're kind of tamping the system to the south of us. But at two o'clock, we have rain across the area. The last places to see rain will be in the Lehigh Valley and up into the Poconos. As we continue through the sea, evening. We are going to be looking at spotty showers continuing. Then we wake up tomorrow and we have that chance of showers all day long tomorrow. This lingers all the way into tomorrow afternoon. We continue all the way into Tuesday morning. We get a little bit of a break from time to time on Tuesday. It looks like things will be fairly decent in the afternoon, although cloudy. However, we do watch another shot of rain coming through the area Tuesday night and into early Wednesday morning. I think Wednesday we clear out and we actually see some sunshine in the area, if you can believe that. We're going to have one nice day the middle of this week. And one other surprise for the end of the week. 51, that will be the high today, and that's a generous high. We will see that uh, rain moving in this afternoon. Chilly conditions all day. 63 for tomorrow, so as the warm front pushes north, it'll bring us periods of rain and clouds. Tuesday, spotty showers. Wednesday, our nice day at 59. More rain on Thursday. This could be from what is now Tropical Storm Zeta. We'll talk more about that coming up. But right now, the good news is Halloween looks dry and sunny. Cami, thank you.